the father of my kids. He was using crystal meth. He was acting aggressive, punching walls. When my son started acting like his father, that was really eye-opening for me, and that's when I decided I need to get out of this situation. I don't want my son to grow up to be like his father. Going to one place to find all the support that I needed at that moment was very helpful. We meet our victims when they're really left with nothing. They've been abused, they've lost their childhood, they've, they've lost their sense of safety and trust in the world. And this place is the place that's being built not just as a structure, but as a place that has human beings that are gonna serve them and are gonna rebuild their lives and trust in a journey, in a partnership with our victims and survivors. One Safe Place is gonna be one-stop shop for victims and survivors of abuse to get all kinds of services and supports that they need. Everything from restraining order to therapy to counseling to advocacy, all under one roof. Prior to the North County Family Justice Center, we would have to call a number and say that we were concerned about someone and then let that person go to maybe call, to maybe get services. Whereas now we can bring them straight over to services in the same place. They can get everything done, everything in one place. And it makes not only us feel better, but it is also safer for the victims. Before a center like this, victims had to travel throughout the huge county in sort of a scattered way. Um, they would have to go you know, 12 miles away to get the restraining order, then travel 22 miles to get a counseling service, maybe drop their children off four miles away at childcare. This is exhausting, you know, and they would just quit. So it isn't a law enforcement agency, it isn't the district attorney's office, law office, it's not a police station, it is a place where the community is showing up for the individual to support them in their journey. We sit down and listen to each individual's story and tailor whatever they want to that story. So. It's not a space where you will feel like you're filling out forms and you're checking the boxes. I will tell any victim that is just afraid to seek help to overcome their fears. The fear is never going to end. It's always going to be there. But just be a little brave. We're not going to ask questions about your immigration status. We're not going to charge you money. It's free, free services here. Um, we want people to know that when they walk on site, they're going to be treated with care and comfort and not um, judgment. It's very unique in that it has services for seniors, which we haven't found elsewhere, and it has all of the forensic health services on site that are not usually found in other centers. I absolutely believe it's going to save lives after we see someone and we can bring them right over to get a restraining order, to get a a secret place for them to stay, to make sure their children are okay, to make sure that they're, they, they and their children are being fed. This is gonna be one of the most um, empowering, freeing, independent things that some of these individuals will do is walk in our doors. And when they do that, we wanna make sure that we are there ready to treat them with care and comfort so that they have hope, maybe for the first time in their lives.